Hey everyone, I'm King. Welcome back to King Spade channel. So the game had updated with the latest job optimization, and one of the job class that go through adjustment this time is the tech one. Now this is very interesting. Players had been wanting for some sort of transformation for the tech one job class for various reasons. Its movement is slow, the build up power is slow, long skill animation and and so on. So in this video, we're going to see what have been changed for the tag one and how it impact the tag one in general. Does it improve the tag one job class or does it not? All right. So let's bring out the job optimization list for the tag one. The first one, the tag one base attack is now have higher damage coefficient. I mean, the tag one itself is a unique class. The game makes it to have a fixed attack speed. Speed. And so, a fast attacking normal attack build is not something you want to go for for tech one. Tech one is more towards a haste skill spammer penetration build type of job class. So perhaps this is for the early game where you don't have enough skill or high enough haste to use skill to deal damage. So you do a lot of normal attack in between of those skills that are in cooldown. But as you level up further when you have enough haste you shouldn't be doing any normal attack and that is also depends on how you set your skill i had previously made a video on how you should set your skill for tech one and also for the second job star gladiator for optimal build i suggest you to watch that video i'll put the link at the video description and pin comment below next flying sidekick skill it is set the skill cool down after using the union of the stars skill or in another word when you summon the stars so this affect more to utility aspect not so much on the tech one overall damage next union of the stars the skill casting animation is now reduced so let's test that out here is a side-by-side -side comparison of the skill before and after the adjustment let's slow that down and see if there any difference after summoning the stars see that the tag one transition to use the next skill is a little bit faster but i don't think this is a game changer for tag one the time difference is very small in fact look at the next skill the cyclone kick take way longer to hit than activating the union of the stars skill i was hoping that the game shortened the kick skill casting animation rather than the union of the stars but let's see what we have next next we have anger of the stars all right it said here this skill will no longer have the meteor damage and it indirectly increase the ultimate skill damage which by the statement itself is misleading so yes the meteor damage from this skill is removed after the update but it does not necessarily increase the ultimate damage what exactly happen is originally when this skill is activated apart from the meteor damage also reduce the tech one final damage by 65% after the update the final damage is now reduced to only 40% so it is not exactly increasing the tech one damage it still reduced the tech one final damage but not as much as previously from 65% to 40% final damage reduced and here I thought final Finally, I can use the Anger of the Star skills thinking that it actually increases the tech one damage but turns out it do not. It is still a waste of a skill for tech one. Next Blessing of the Sun skill. This skill now give more HP buff and reduce damage sharing from teammates. I mean unless I build the tech one as a tank build, I will not even use this skill. Even so, I don't think any tech one player will want to use this skill maybe 
early in the early game where players still do not have a good optimization on equipment, cards, enchant, and so on. Maybe then the tech one can be here though for the team to absorb the damage received from their teammates and whatnot. Other than that, a useless skill to be honest. Next, Warmth of the Moon. Now, these changes will increase the tech one overall damage. This skill is added with attack buff, increase attack to allies, and that means also including you, making the moon buff better than the sun buff. Next, the storm kick skill attack range is increased. In terms of damage, it is still the same, just that now it is easier to hit the target, and that's it. Next, ultimate axe kick, ultimate whirlwind kick, and ultimate counter kick. Alright, looking from the description alone, it can can be confusing. So what happened is, previously the damage is fixed, regardless of how many targets in the skill attack area, using the skill will deal the same amount of damage to all nearby target. Now the base damage of the skill is increased almost up to 3 times, but the damage will be evenly distributed to how many target in that area. Theoretically, this means that using the mentioned skill on a single target will deal a lot of damage because the base damage is increased. But when attacking the target in a group, the damage will be evenly distributed. Will it deal lower damage than before? Let's take it to the test. So here I am farming at Hammer Cobalt. There are 5 Hammer Cobalt in this particular spot that I am farming at. So here is a side-by-side -side damage comparison before and after the update. Truthfully, I see no significant difference between the two. The damage dealt to a group of monsters is about the same with the previous version. So perhaps a detailed calculation had been made prior so the damage does not have that much difference on multiple target. But we can't conclude anything just yet without a proper DPS test. So here is the DPS test before the update. Like usual, I'm going to test it on the medium sized dummy for one minute. That is 1 minute, the DPS is about 6 million. And this is the after update DPS test. The DPS is actually the same, if not worse than before. I don't know what I did wrong, but I run the task many times and I ended up with the same result every time. So it seems like the changes on the tech one this time is more on the early game damage scaling and utility aspect. Higher damage on the basic attack for early game to help the tech one level up better. Flying kick cooldown reset for better mobility 
visibility in the arena, questionable changes for feeling of the stars, union of the stars, and anger of the star skill, which are not a problem to the tech one to begin with. But even with the changes, it didn't have any impact overall. And the ultimate X kick, ultimate whirlwind kick, not sure about the ultimate counter kick because I didn't test it. After doing the test, nothing actually changes. The damage is still the same. The only thing that I can think of is that the skill might be buggy. It doesn't reflect on the changes that the game want it to be with this adjustment. So fellow Tech One user, what do you think of the Tech One update? Do you see any power spike or is it still the same? I like to know what do you think? Let me know at the comment below. Alright, that's it for this video. This time video shout out goes to Thank you for always supporting me on this channel. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. And as always, happy playing. Bye-bye.